TV show on Saturday nights, <laughs> which I'm also very proud of because not only was I the presenter of uh, that show and the host, um, but Gavin and I, Barman Barker Productions, were the co-producers of the show and we co-produced it with the BBC. And um, it was, the thing that's nice about being a, a co-production is that you can do more things that you think people like yourselves want to see on television. And I thought it was about time that we did good things for good people, made people's dreams come true, and uh, let deserving people have their moment in the spotlight. And we had a great time doing it. And not only that, but it's selling all over the world. We've uh, sold it to Canada. Uh, we were just in the States selling it to the networks in the US. And um, it's also sold to many other countries in Europe and in the Far East. I know. Would you like to see what I look like in some foreign countries? Ooh, yes! Take it away. Here I am in the Ukraine. We've got the same hair color. They can't clap in time, though. That's the problem. Oh, yay! I like her outfit. Here I am in Sweden. I'm hot, I'm young, and I'm 28. Oh, yeah, sing it, Sweden. They've all got the hand, though. That's what I like. He took the song to number one in the Swedish charts. There's the Jake Morris. And here I am in China! The country's so big, there's two of me. And it's a Strictly Come Dancing special, too. Yeah, sing it, sweet. He's got the pose. Спасибо, спасибо. Amazing, eh? A show that made dreams come true just here in the UK is now doing it all over the world, and it's thanks to people like yourself. So, very proud of that. Thank you very much. It's funny to see the set in different countries. It travels. There's a plane that just takes the set all over the world. I'm just kidding. Hello, girls. You're in orange. Orange is the color of Palm Springs. Did any of you know that? No, you're like, no, we don't care either. 
Uh, last year I moved my mom and dad uh, to Palm Springs so that when I was filming in Los Angeles, filming Torchwood, that I could be closer to them. I'd film during the week and then on a very, very late on a, um, a Saturday morning at about 4 a.m. I'd drive to Palm Springs and spend the rest of the weekend with them. Now, when I was putting the show together this year, I was looking through all my photographs and I had no idea that I had actually met years ago some of Palm Springs' most famous residents. See if you know who this is. Oh, a pope. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. Do you know who that is? No clue. <laughs> you guys all know who it is? Yeah, yeah, you know who it is? Do you know? <laughs> you have no clue who Bob Hope is. <laughs> Where were you born? 1981. Aww. Don't anybody tell him who Bob Hope is. I don't want him to know. Yeah, Bob Hope, really nice man. Finished talking to him there. I walked away and he went, who the hell's that kid? <laughs> One day you'll know. Pity he's dead. <laughs> but this next lady, see if you know who this is. What? You can't see her. Duck. Can you see in the TV screens? Who said that? June Allison, that's right. Who's that? Now, for those of you who don't know, June Allison was a very famous actress of the 1940s and 50s in the MGM movies. Does anyone know the famous movie she was in? Glenn Miller Story. Yeah. Obviously, it's a very young crowd tonight because nobody has a clue who June Allison is. Just two people. That lady in the front. No, she used to get, it was a thrill for me to meet her because I used to watch the MGM movies in the afternoon with my gran and I saw, you know, I knew her as a young lady on television and on the movies and always thought, you know, and never thought I'd ever meet her and that she'd then call me her honey. Aww. You know, you're my honey, come near me. All I can say about this picture is what the hell was I thinking when I went into my wardrobe that morning? <laughs> I look like a Versace place setting, don't I? <laughs> Awful. Horrible, bad choice. You'll know this next lady, if you can see her. Can you see her? Petula Clark, that's right. Otherwise known as Pet. And when I, I love Petula Clark songs, do you know who Petula Clark is? No, you don't. Put it this way, Petula Clark in the 60s was a huge pop star. She was like today's Britney Spears, except she never exposed herself. <laughs> Petula Clark songs, fantastic, right? Whenever I'm feeling down, don't go to the mall, do I? No, I don't go to the high street, do I? Where do you think I go? Down time! You got it! Come on, everybody, this is your chance. Can you bring the house lights up, please? When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go where? Dark time. Whoa, when you've got worries, all the noise and the hurries seem to help, I know. Where? Dark time. Just listen to the music of the traffic in the city. Finger on the sidewalk where the neon lights are pretty. How can you lose? The lights are much brighter there. You can forget all your troubles. Forget all your cares, the sun goes Downtown Things will be great when you're Downtown Go find a place for sure Downtown Everything's waiting for you I want to hear you Downtown Okay, swinging, here we go Don't hang around and let your problems surround you There are movie shows Where do you think, girls? Downtown Maybe you know some little places to go where they never close. Everybody! Downtown. Just listen to the rhythm of the gentle bossa nova. You'll be dancing with them too before the night is over. Happy again. The lights are much brighter there. You can't forget all your troubles, forget all your cares and go.
to guide them along. So maybe I'll see you there. You can't forget all your troubles.